So this is dinner tonight. Sweet potatoes, some juca, and then we got a patel here. This is the Goya brand. Um, it is amazing. Let me show you how tender this meat is. This is my brother's plate, by the way, but it is so tender, this meat. Like, it is amazing. So this is dinner tonight. I cannot wait to eat. It is so good. The sweet potatoes, look how soft. They fall apart. That's how good everything tastes. Like new money. Check you out. So how's all the bureaucrats treating you in D.C.? Watching a low-down, uh, uh, dirty Steve. shame. Uh, it's a paycheck. <clears throat> you remember Peaches, don't you? Hey, Peaches, how you doing? Hanging in there. You still with Good morning. It is... I don't even know what time it is. It's 10 o'clock. We already did our workout. We did... I, did I woke yoga. up at 7 something. Yeah. Um, you guys, look how cute my new mug is. I'm debating, like, because I have a, an obsession with mugs and tumblers and stuff like that. And a couple of you guys been telling me to do, like, an Instagram page for just cups and tumblers and stuff. So, I don't know if I should do one or not. Like, it's just a hobby of mine, like, just going to the stores and looking for cups and mugs and shit. But then it's just, like... Sometimes I'm like, should I do it or not? Um, I'm going to go run to get some errands done because I have to go do some stuff. And what else, Mar? Well, um, my dad wants to go. I don't know. My dad, like when my dad wants something, he wants something. Mm -hmm. And obviously he has the money for it, so I can't tell him what to do. But he wants to like gain healthy weight. I'm like, just up up your eating. You mm -hmm. know, like don't buy all these stupid stuff. But. Who am I to tell him? Mm -hmm. So we're going to take him to GNC or vitamin shop so he can get mm -hmm. him. I still got to get him his birth, I mean, his Christmas present. Yeah, so I'm going to um, take him. Actually, I'm going to go take him to get his jeans. I'm going to take you guys along to GNC because he's leaving tomorrow. Um, he's going to Philly. So um, i got to get stuff done today. I have to go to the bank and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and... You hear our freaking crazy ass leader? Mm, yeah. Our disruptive leader. Mm. And sorry for us, like, we be looking, like, really, mm. really shady lately. Like, our appearance and mm. everything. But that's okay. Y'all know what we get done up. We done up. Like, yeah. Just I just I just don't have the energy to do anything but do my workout in the morning. Um, and just stay home. Like, I just want to chill. The, like, I'm literally going to go out because I have to. It's a necessity. It's a, not a want. It's a necessity. And when I tell you I am going to run like speeding Gonzalez, I have like more than 10 stops to do. And I will do them in less than an hour. Okay? And, um, the reason I'm not going is because um, somebody's coming over, so I got to stay in the house yeah. to wait for the person. Yeah. So I'm just going to smoke it up and everything like that. Yeah. And um, Oh, I got to go buy my charcoal. So let me get ready. Take you guys along with me to GNC. And that's pretty much it. So this is breakfast for today. Some coconut chocolate chips. I didn't put that much because the banana is sweet. And the yogurt is low fat Greek. It's fat free. Yeah, fat free Greek yogurt. I think it's just like plain vanilla. So yeah, so good. First stop of the day is Ollie's. Hopefully there's no music in here so I can get some stuff and show you guys around. Of course they had music so I couldn't, you know, record in, on live time, which I did, but you get what I'm saying. I had to do a voiceover. When I tell you, you guys, like it took everything in my power not to buy everything that I found. Like I was so impressed um with all the selections that they had of dove they had a lot of dove shampoo body wash conditioner bar soap um hair masks like so affordable under ten dollars like it was just amazing like i was blown away but because i have so much stuff like i buy stuff like my bath soaps and i have a lot of body washes and stuff like that so when I find a good deal, y'all know that I'm always shopping at a budget. So I have so much stuff that I just opted off getting some of that stuff. But wait till y'all see what I got. But they had amazing stuff. 
at the mall, which is a girl's house, like even Auntie Anne's is like off. So we just went to GNC. I didn't even take him to take to get the jeans. I'm gonna take him another time because we both didn't feel like going to get jeans. So quick grocery haul, we got some chips here, we got pretzels because you guys know I love pretzels so I got two bags, Marlene wanted the mentos so we got mentos, we got some crackers from Ollie's, we got a Snickers, we have some of these crackers, we have some Lunchables here, we got popcorn, not the greatest selection but we like to have our snacks, Lunchables, everything in moderation. We got these ice creams because we want the new ice cream. We got more butter snap pretzels here. We got some minced garlic. We got Cheetos. We got Pringles. We got diet uh, tea. I love this one. It has no calories. I got kiwi sour cream. We got um, lasagna noodles. We have ricotta because we're going to be making lasagna tomorrow. Limes. And we got these two new salad kits. We're gonna be trying one of these two right now and we'll show you when it's set up. We got mild cheddar, we got mozzarella, we got tortillas, cause we like to make tortillas. Usually we get them from Taco Bell, but it's better to make it at home. So we just bought the stuff to make it at home. And then we got some power raids. We got these two as well. You guys, if you guys find these chicken nuggets, these are the best. Um, coming from which ones that we used to get the encore ones? I swear they were like nibblers or something. Yeah, like nibblers, that. the nibblers. I'll try to we put a picture to... here. We used to stay getting those. Those were our top favorite, but we can never find them. They only have them in New York. So this is the closest thing to it. It's like five dollars. These are so freaking bomb. We always get two when we can get them because they're always sold out. We got some Snapple here. We got some raspberry one because Marlene wants the Snapples. We got some beef right here. From Ollie's, I ended up getting Skittles from Marlene because she'd be loving to munch on candy. So this is for her. I ended up getting some seasonings. I've tried this one uh, the last time. I bought it from the dollar store and I really, really like it. So I got this again. I got garlic powder and I like to get them from Ollie's because they're big and they last longer. Onion powder. I got some basil. They didn't have some parsley flakes, so I couldn't get that. My dad got some ground cinnamon. I got some shavers because I needed it. And then I ended up getting this satin pillowcase and eye mask because I go through these eye masks like water. This was $5. Lastly, but not least, I got some straws at the supermarket. We ended up going to GNC, so we got vitamin D because they didn't have the powder that my dad wanted. And then I got some digestive enzymes. Shout out to the person uh, that told me to get them. I was looking, so I ended up finding them in GNC. So I'm going to try this brand out. And then I ended up finding these two protein bars for me and Marlene. I got the pumpkin cheesecake and the caramel coconut Girl Scout. And then I ended up getting some air wicks for the house. And that's it. That's everything I got. Watching Wrong Turn. Comment down below and let me know if you've seen this movie. Because we love it. Okay, so this is the salad. It comes with craisins. I added my own because I gave Marlene the ones that she, the bag came with. It's not a lot. And then it comes with these like Parmesan chips. I added some Parmesan cheese and I'm just going to add the dressing. But the whole pack is 440 calories if you eat it by yourself. But if you share it with two people, it's 170. So not too bad. So yeah, this is lunch. Can't wait to eat. Check this out. We have some olive oil here and some sugar. We're letting this caramelize. You want it to get dark so we can add the meat. And let me show you what we're making today. So here we have some drumsticks. I seasoned it with our regular seasonings. You already know salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of paprika, Dominican sazon that I made, and oregano. So as you can see, look how dark it's getting. So this is the time that you want to add it. So here's the meat so far, and it's on high heat. I'm going to turn it around in a little bit so you guys can see it really quick. So this is the type of color that you want to go for. It is not burned. It's just caramelized. 
So I'm gonna let the other side cook and then we'll proceed. So here we have two boxes of rice aroni. We've never tried these. Where did we see this? We've been watching Supermarket Sweet. Yeah. And then we saw um, the contestants um, getting one of these. And I'm like, I've never tried that. I want to try it. So then they had a whole bunch. These are the ones they had in Price Shopper. We were going to try the cheddar broccoli one. But yeah. they only had the chicken flavor. So Marlene wanted to make it with the rice and chicken inside together. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we've never done this before. So we're going to do it. The back of it says butter and water so we're just gonna add the water to the drumsticks and then we'll yeah, show you i'll add some butter in it before yeah. i throw this in but i wanted to, to cook the drumsticks you know because sometimes these boxes don't be tasting that well so yeah i wanted to add my little you know um, mix to it yeah. twist so i'm gonna add some tomato paste i'll do the rest of off camera but what you want to do is try to mix this in you guys, this right here, this is not the life that I deserve to live, like I told my dad. We were, we were yelling at him, yeah. we were like, in a, in a playful way. I'm like, why are we cooking for men that are not our husbands mm -hmm. for? Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, because, bro, this literally was throwing oil in my forehead, throwing oil everywhere. And I'm like, this is not the life that I deserve to do. Like, you know, I'm not a housewife. Like, I'm cooking for us, but... Like, bro, sometimes I'm like, who want to be cooking, bro? Like, who want to be doing that? By the way, it's only 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and we're cooking because, you know, I'm trying to just have a good time tonight, and look at that meat, though. Look at that meat. It looks so amazing. This is how I like my meat. Nice, with flavor, caramelized, because if y'all know one thing about us, we're all about season here. Sazon con flavor, we don't play that. So now I'm just gonna add some water to my uh, bowl. Let me show you the bowl. I'm gonna add four cups of water because the rice aroni says two cups and one fourth for each con um, pouch. So I'm just gonna do four cups of water, right? I think I'm gonna do five, and then when it gets down to like four, yeah, then we'll throw in the rice aroni because yeah, I that's a good idea. That's a good idea. So now, what morning? Sorry for the loud ass fucking heater that we have over here, man. Yeah, so now I'm gonna add the five cups of water. And what I'm gonna do is deglaze the bottom of the pan. Hold on, you guys. This little piece of tomato paste. So now all you're gonna take, oh my God, what a mess. Marlene eats when I take that silver spoon and deglaze the bottom of it. So she likes a wooden spoon better because of the noise. So I'm just going to deglaze the bottom of it because all the bits and pieces in the bottom of the pan is the best. So we're just going to come let this come up to a boil. Once it comes up to the bo a boil, I'm going to taste the water to see if it needs additional seasoning. And then we'll proceed from there, right, Mark? I know it's going to need more salt and everything like that. Yeah. And actually, we need to go buy seasonings because we don't even have garlic powder anymore and none of that and that's yeah. a very big staple in this house yeah so this is the type of color that we like like you didn't even need to add tomato paste to this because of the color itself but because we want it to be thick um we added a little bit of tomato paste but you could go ahead and skip that you don't have to add no sazon con goya none of that like the chota seeds or anything because the sugar is what provides the color here so i'm just gonna let this come up to a boil Wow, look at my meat. It's coming up to a boil. I did add some extra onion powder because that's all I had and a little bit of salt because it needed it. I didn't add too much salt because I forgot that the rice aroni chicken flavored is already seasoned. So I want to make sure that I add the rice first, let it come up to a boil and then taste it again just in case if it needs some additional seasoning. So this comes with this packet right here. And this is what the inside is. So it's more pasta and rice. Um, I thought the flavoring came inside already, the box. Yeah, but yeah. it's a good way always to, you know, save those packets if you don't want to use both of them. So we're just going to add one right now. So let me get the wooden spoon and add this pasta. Wow, this meat looks so good. So we're just going to add the rice in it. Yeah, I'm going to do it slow because I don't want to burn Mm. Burn us. And then I'm just going to add the other one. And then I'll add the packet at last minute after I add 
the rice and mm -hmm. the pasta. I'll mix it in when you... Yeah. So, so far looking good. It looks like there's nothing in it, but once it starts boiling more, we're going to leave it on high. Yeah, I'm going to put this on high because it's not on high. It's medium high heat. Yeah. So, so I'm going to put it all the way high. Let me try it really quick and see what it do. I think we should add one of the packets. Wow, it's good. So I'm just going to add one of the packets. So it's almost like a chicken bouillon thing. I'm just going to add a little bit and have Marlene move it around and see how it tastes. I'm going to taste it again and see. I don't really like using chicken bouillon. Like when I was younger, I used to use it, but it has way too much salt for my liking. And I don't like using like ingredients like that. Like wow. I used to use that meat tenderizer when I used to be younger. Like I didn't really know too much about like ingredients and salts and stuff like that so now that i'm older i really like to watch what i put into my food okay you guys we tasted it again it doesn't need no more flavor as you can see i have half of a pouch left of the chicken bouillon um it's way too salty it almost reminds me of like the lipton soup like i love those little lipton soups with the uh, uh, the sodium is way too high i'll put the picture if i could find the heat of the lipton soup that i'm talking about usually i use the whole thing when i make one but i only have that once in a while so i'm just gonna let this come up to a boil and then i'll show you when we put it on low as you guys can see it's getting thicker and thicker oh my oh god it's my getting god. like stuck in the bottom those are the good parts so i'm gonna yeah. try to lift it up little by little and then oh my god so good yes i cannot wait we're gonna let this continue cooking a little bit more let it dry a little bit and then we'll put it on low so as you can see it's completely done the meat is like falling apart as you can see the meat right here is falling apart that's Marlene exactly tried it. Mm -hmm. what i wanted for it to fall off the bones that's what i told darlene because initially when i told darlene she's like you think that will work i'm like of course it will and look, it tastes amazing, you guys. It's like so creamy, moist. So I cannot wait to go to the supermarket and find the broccoli cheesy one. And I know they also have a four cheese one. And they have a Mexican style one, a Chinese style one. So I want to yeah. try them. It's so good. Like, look at that. The meat is just like falling off. So you guys, we finally downloaded. We got Hulu and Disney together again. So we're watching Clifford. Um, I hope that is a good movie. So I'll let y'all know what I think. Let me know down below if you've seen it. Where are you? I'm in my backpack. I specifically said no to the dog and you completely ignored me. I swear, he just showed up. Oh. Really quick, I want to show you, don't mind the mess, these two bags, I've been adding so much clothes and getting rid of brand new stuff, old stuff. I have a whole bin of brand new t-shirts, 3X with tags that I have to go through in a little bit. And then I'm also going to get rid of this rack right here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to get rid of all these black hangers um, because I only like these kinds uh, for now. These are all brand new clothes. I'm going to get rid of this uh, rack because I'm trying to clean out my room and just condense because I find myself having closet like little racks like this and just adding a whole bunch of clothes that I don't need to have here. And then it just piles up. You got what I'm saying? So... Like, all of these are Dee Dee's dresses, uh, Rainbow's dresses, brand new with tags that I don't use. Grinch shirts, all of this stuff. I'm getting, uh, I'm going to put this in my closet, get rid of some stuff, and then, you know, um, get rid of this closet because, this little rack, because I don't need it. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to do yoga right now and do my workout after Marlene and get that done and out of the way. Guys, I just took Willie a bath. Look at him. He's trembling. He's so cute. Papa. He's so cute. Let me take him downstairs.
So due to high demands, I am going to be doing a voiceover and showing you guys the ingredients that I use to make my lasagna. So we're going to use the oven ready lasagna sheets. Lasagna. Uh, lasagna, yeah. Usually, um, this is the only meat that I do not wash is the beef. I used to wash it when I was younger. Carne and it, molida. And it turns into a sloppy mess. It just like disintegrates. So Ground beef. That's why I don't make it that much. I don't like to eat that much ground beef, but there's no better way to make lasagna than with ground beef. Um, let me know down below because I've gotten... Did we get the lasagna from, was it Macaroni Grill one time? Oh, yeah, we got it from Macaroni Grill. And let's talk about it because, you know, they do good quality lasagna, but they put sausage in yeah. it. And if you know me... And Darlene, I love me a good sausage, especially with the anise in it. Yeah. But I, I'm not feeling um, sausage in my lasagna. Yeah. I, I'm not feeling it. Italians do that. And I, I'm, mm -mm. not every Italian does that, but I've tried it for them. They have good lasagna, but now I didn't like the sausage in mine. So. Yeah. By the way, I drained my meat. as I just wanted to show you all the oil that I rendered. So I just drained it because I don't like my beef with a lot of oil so then i just use hunt sauce i got it at the dollar store i'm just gonna let my meat simmer for a little bit add a little bit of sugar to cut the acidity um but the lasagna was a hit it was so freaking good um in the next clip i'm gonna show you guys how i assemble it i had to cut the video short and i hope that it worked well because maintenance was here and maintenance was talking to me and asking me what i was making for dinner and then i felt bad because i wanted to tell them do you guys want to eat when somebody compliments me on my food or asks me what i'm doing i feel like an obligation a part of me feels like oh my god maybe they're hungry maybe they want to eat something no but because then, he was like what are you making we were like lasagna he was like oh wow yeah i felt so, so bad I'm yeah like, man maybe it was my early and it wasn't even prepped so i'm like you know, I told my sister we should ask him to come back and get a plate because yeah. I'm going to give him a little plate. But I just feel bad. Like, I don't ever want to cross boundaries with people, like, especially men, because men, right away, if you're too friendly, God forbid, you're mm -hmm. too friendly. They think right away you want to get with them. So it's like one of those things. I had to cut the video short because he was talking to me about stuff that light bulbs and this and that so i'm like all over the place but the lasagna was so good usually we use the risoni right mm -hmm. uh pasta noodles um you have lasagna to boil noodle sheets. yes yeah, so you have to boil them and stuff like that but i find it so much easier to use the ones that are already you know the what what are these called again the are they no bake? Yeah, like the no, no bake. bake lasagna noodles. You know, when you want to do the one, two, three, cha cha yeah. cha, you want to cook really quick, you use yeah. them joints right away. Yeah, and I like to put big dollops of ricotta on my lasagna. This is how I do it. This is the first time that I add Parmesan cheese to my lasagna, and it turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Usually, I just use regular mozzarella cheese. By the way, polio cheese is everything. Polio and the ricotta from polio brand too, but. They don't have it here, so I have to use what I can. But overall, this lasagna was so good. Comment down below and let me know how you make your lasagna because when I tell you it was a hit, it was a hit. We even have leftovers for tomorrow. Lasagna. Yeah, so come on through and eat with us because it was busting. Look at this lasagna, though. It just came right out the oven. I'm going to let it set for a while. Oh, my God. So good. Just look at this cross section. This lasagna, though, tastes so good. This is how I like my lasagna. I like chunks and layers of ricotta. Do not mix the ricotta with the meat because I will not eat it. Yeah, she gets so mad. My cousin used to do that. She's like, nah, I can't. We cannot eat it like that. My mom, this is how my mom used to make it. And the way my mom made it, everybody used to talk about my mom's lasagna. Yeah. And then my cousins, I'm like, uh-uh, my mom died, but I got to recreate it. And then one of my, my cousins, remember Anthony? Mm -hmm. He's Dominican and Peruvian. He's like, nah, y'all make the lasagna so good. Mm -hmm. And all my friends say the same thing. So, yeah. like, we don't play. It got to be cheesy. It got to be moist. It got to have a lot of meat. Like, the noodles got to be cooked to mm -hmm. perfection. 
these no bake noodles are amazing. Mm, yeah, not for nothing. Especially if you're like on a crunch time. Yeah. By the way, that little those black specks, some of it is basil and some of the some of it is Dominican oregano. So it comes with stems and all types of stuff. So don't think it's like a roach or animal or something like that. So yeah, this is the lasagna that you guys been wanting to see. It's so good. And we're gonna pair it with white rice. I am a sociopath, narcissist. I have no empathy. Mm -hmm. I have no feelings. Yeah. Do you think there's any part? Okay, this is the ending. We look like a hot mess. Thank yeah. you so much for watching. And we'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. time. We're just gonna watch the Kardashians, eat lasagna, and then we're gonna party and smoke it up. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.